Hey guys, welcome back. I think there are two different versions of this test, so I apologize if I got the numbering off, but hopefully it hasn't been too much, too big of a deal. So this, I believe, is 36 of the new test. Um, so anyway, so this problem is essentially just an exponent problem with a radical sign. So the first thing that I notice is that in order to get rid of this radical sign, I need to have something on the inside that's squared. And that's because if you take the square root of something squared, so let's say the square root of x squared, this just equals x. So what I really need to do is just factor the inside. So let's talk about that. So the first thing that I notice is this is gonna be a perfect square um, don't worry if you don't recognize that right off hand, but for those of you that are more advanced, I wanted to point that out. And I think if you do have trouble factoring this, I think the best thing to do is to use something called u substitution. So that is where you set u equal to a variable to make the problem easier. So let me explain that further. So if I set u equal to x squared and rewrite this, I'm going to get the square root of 4u squared, and that is because this term is 4 times x squared squared, and since I let u equal x squared, this equals 4u squared, so that's where I got that, and then this term is just 36x squared, so since I let u equal x squared, this is going to be 36u. So going back, so this is going to be 4u squared plus 36u plus 81. So hopefully this looks a little bit easier to factor. Um, because, you know, I have a lot of experience, I can kind of recognize that this is a perfect square. But again, if you can't, there are plenty of different methods to factor this. Um, one of them I know is, I believe, is called the tic-tac-toe method. So you put the a term here, which is 4. You put the c term here, which is 81 and then you put a times c in this box, and that's gonna give you 324. Now what you do in this box and this box is you take all of the factors of 324 and you list them. So you do 324, and let's say it's 2, 1, sorry, 62, da, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So you list out all of the factors, and then you find the pair of factors that together are going to equal your b term. So in this case, I'm going to go on. Let's say I find that it's, um, or let's just do 9 and, let's see, what is it? 3, 24, and 9, 9, 18, 27, 5, 4, 36. Okay, so, oops, 6. Okay, so 9 and 36 all the way down, and then eventually I'm going to get to 18 and 18. And I'm going to realize that 8, 18 plus 18 equals 36. We know it's not this because these added together equals 45. So we know it's not these. We know it's not these added together because these equal 164. So we know it's not that pair. So that's how you pick these two numbers. So you're going to put one term here and one term here. doesn't matter which order you put them in. Just put them each in one box. So now what you need to do is you need to pull out the factors of 18 that these two numbers can multiply to equal. So that might sound a little bit confusing, but in this case, 18, what are the factors of 18? We have one and 18, two and nine, or sorry, two and nine, three and six, and I think that's it. So in this case, since we need factors of four that are also a factor of 18, our only choice is really two. So we know two is gonna go there, same thing, we know 2 is going to go here. Now, since we need we need 2 and 9 are a pair, 9 is a factor of 81 and 9 is a factor of 81. So again, they have to multiply in this direction and in this direction. So 9 times 9 is 81, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 9 is 18, and 2 times 9 is 18. So all this way, they have to be able to multiply. Okay, so now what we're going to do after we get this nice little four boxes filled in, we're going to circle diagonally, do to do, and do to do, and those are going to be our factors. So we're going to write one term is 2u plus 9, and then we're going to multiply it by 2u plus 9. So in this case, we found that this is equal to 2u plus 9 
squared, but the square root of that. So all I did again was I factored the inside, I found out it was 2u plus 9 squared, and then I kept the square root sign. So now, since we're taking the square root of a squared number, that basically cancels out and we get 2u plus 9. So now we can't leave this in terms of u because the problem is in terms of x squared. So now all we're going to do is plug back in x squared for u, and so equals, coming down here, we're going to equals 2x squared plus 9. So I hope that helped. If you, um, if you need any further practice with factoring, I believe my method is called the tic-tac-toe method. I can create a video in the future to explain that further, but hopefully that at least gave you a little bit of help. So I tutor in the Los Angeles area and also via Skype. If you need any additional um, help, just feel free to email me. All right, thanks for watching.